Thinking of moving to the Atlanta metro area? Well, today I'm gonna to give you the top five reasons why I hear you should not consider the Atlanta suburb of Coweta County. And I'm going to ease those worries and flip them on why you should live here. Hey y'all, this is Living in Coweta. My name is Ben and I am your licensed local real estate expert. I come out with a new video every week talking about Coweta County and other suburbs of Atlanta. So be sure to subscribe. Also, leave a comment on where you'd like to see me in future videos. Let's get into it. It's too far from Atlanta. I hear this reason all the time, especially from people not familiar with the area. If you need to be closer to Atlanta for work or any reason, I recommend towns such as Noonan, Sharpsburg, Brantville, and Palmetto. Interstate 85 runs through all these cities in Coweta County and can get you fairly quickly into Atlanta, especially the airport. Really, once you get south of the airport on the interstate, traffic usually is not that bad at all. You may hit some quick congestion at Union City or Peachtree City exits, but after that, you're back to driving the speed limit. Atlanta was recently ranked as 10th in the worst traffic in the US. But so far, for the most part, this side of town has been able to avoid the major congestion other metro Atlanta areas are notorious for. So you may be closer to the city and other suburbs of Atlanta, but traffic can get so bad there, it's going to take just as much time for you to get there than if you left from here. I don't know about you, but I'd much rather take 30 minutes to go 30 miles on the interstate than to take 30 minutes to go three miles. For me, mentally, the stop and go traffic can be so draining and frustrating. Homes are on a well, septic tank, or both. We may be out in the country, but there are still plenty of homes on public sewer and water near the more developed areas. Yes, when you get out to more rural parts of Coweta, you may have to deal with a septic tank, well, or both. And if you've never had to experience a well or septic tank, it can be a little scary. But I'm here to calm your nerves. Without getting too much into the weeds, as long as you don't abuse a septic system and maintain it regularly, you likely won't even notice it's there. Use your toilets, sinks, showers, and tubs as they were meant. Just wastewater and human waste, not any grease or anything else you can think of. When you clean your bathroom and sinks, don't use bleach, use an ammonia-based cleaner. As far as wells, water has to come from somewhere. In my opinion, public water is just one big public well anyway. And public water has additives like chlorine and fluoride. Public water is pure water that comes straight to you with no additives. And in my opinion, tastes a whole lot better too. Yeah, there's some downsides to wells like you need to periodically have them tested, but you're also not paying a monthly water bill. The bugs. Georgia is known for bugs. You've got gnats, mosquitoes, palmetto bugs, AKA roaches, and termites, just to name a few. But with the proper steps, this can all be managed properly. If you enjoy sitting outside and don't want to be bothered when the bugs come out to play in the evening, I would recommend a screened porch or some citronella candles and bug spray. Then you can enjoy all the comforts of outside without having to worry about the flies, mosquitoes, and gnats. The main time they tend to be an issue too is in the evening, so this is really when you want to make sure that you have some sort of protection. A great way to help mitigate mosquitoes is also to make sure you don't have any standing water around your property. They thrive in that environment, which can really ruin your time outside. As for the dreaded termite, I always recommend having a termite bond on your home. A termite bond is a contract between you and a pest control company. They'll treat your home and come out regularly to ensure no termites are getting any bright ideas in your home. To get a termite bond, it's usually only a few hundred dollars a year and absolutely worth every penny. Homes are too expensive. The average price for a home all across the country has gone up in recent years, and Coweta County is no exception. The median price point for Coweta in 2023 was around $420,000. But that doesn't mean the entire county is unaffordable. Noonan has a median price point of $380,000. Drive a few miles south of Noonan to Grantville, the median price drops to three hundred five. dollars You can also look around at other surrounding areas like Troop County, Coweta's neighbor to the south. Troop County's median price is even lower at just under $260,000. And when it comes to first time home buyers, I always say drive until you can afford. The main goal is to get you to be a homeowner. Then as your real estate investment grows, because that's what buying a home is as a real estate investment, 
you grow into a bigger home and then a bigger one. In my experience, most cases, your first home is not a million dollar home. Your first home is budget friendly. Then you move up to a four to $500,000 home. Then keep moving up until you're ready to start downsizing again. Remember, most cases, your first home is not your forever home. In fact, the average time someone owns a home is only about eight years. So don't think your home needs to be a perfect forever home. It needs to be a workable home for the foreseeable future. And when your home doesn't meet the needs anymore, that's when you move on to your next home investment opportunity. The market is going to crash. I've been hearing this for as long as I can remember. In 2020, people told me they knew the market would crash and what did it do? The average sales price flew up 20% year over year. In 2021, I heard it even more. There's no way homes are worth that much. But what happened by the end of 2021? Prices went up another 20% year over year. I don't have a crystal ball, but to hedge your bets on your idea that the market will crash is a bad plan. If you think we're going to see a housing crash like we did in the early 2000s, you may be in for a long wait. The government put in place a ton of legislation to ensure the housing market never suffers what it did then. And for those of you waiting for interest rates to go down, I have bad news for you too. You're not the only one waiting. And just as I saw the other week when interest rates dropped, the floodgates opened and all of a sudden multiple offers started showing up again. So you may get a better rate then, but you also may have to start offering over asking, which means your loan is going to be more and those monthly payments are not gonna be any less in most cases. I say buy now with less competition and refinance when rates go down. Marry the house and date the rate. Remember the old Chinese proverb, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Now that you can see the top five reasons not to move to Coweta County really aren't that bad, are you ready to consider making a move here? I'll be happy to get you from where you are to where you wanna be. My contact information is below and in the description, so reach out anytime. I'll be coming out with a new video every week and I'll be diving in a lot deeper into the area, so be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button also, and if you're interested in seeing videos about other Metro Atlanta areas, comment below. This channel may focus on the Atlanta suburb of Coweta County, but I will be venturing out to other surrounding areas as well. All right, that's it for this video, everyone. See you next week.